There are two things in this uh, particular challenge. So there is a LFI. So actually three things. So there is a LFI. There is a uh, what do you say dietary listing. So that shouldn't be enabled also. And the third is thing is the hash encryption or how you could bypass HT access HT password. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Asim here. Hope you enjoyed the yesterday's video about user agent and how that could be used to bypass checks on some of the websites. A lot of people suggested that Incognito is like good enough for Medium. Uh, I know about that, but it was not specific to Medium. Rather, uh, a generic use case of user agent and how websites allow search engine optimization and how you could use it to your benefit. There could be websites where like incognito might not work but user agent thing might work. So yeah, so that's about the previous video. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you do check him out. Now today we're going to talk about LFI. Uh, LFI is local file inclusion and this is a very classic case of LFI that I'm going to show today. It's on the Realistic Mission 7. We are skipping Realistic Mission 6 for now. We'll be coming back to that later on. LFI was like, I thought it would be more relevant to talk about this. So, yeah. So, first, so let's start with this. So, this is I have already logged into my uh, Hack the Site account, and this is the challenge here. What's right for America? Take this challenge. It's a moderate difficulty. So from freedom of choice, this person has mentioned that uh, there's hate speech being spewed over this particular website. That's the realistic mission seven. And it's funny that conservatives keep saying that they want to protect the values of America. Uh, however, they, but when it comes to personal choices like private marijuana use or same sex marriages, they damn them to burn in eternal hell. You think that they are talking about making a constitutional amendment to stop our freedom? Mary is ludicrous. This injustice must be stopped. Now let's come to the technical part. So, there's an admin section on that website somewhere, perhaps hidden among the directory structure. It would be a great fight against moral tyranny and a victory for freedom if you could somehow hack into the website. We have to get into the admin section of the website and it's hidden among some of the directory structure. So uh, there are two things in this uh, particular challenge. So there's a LFI, so actually three things. So there's a LFI, there's a, uh, what do you say, directory listing. So that shouldn't be enabled also. And the third is thing is the hash encryption or how you could bypass HT access HT password. So I'm going to talk about it. So let's check this page. As usual, I always like open the source first. So control you for opening the source. Now you could see that show images.php, created.txt, war.txt, and bush.txt. So these are basically these three links. And you could see that there's a file parameter and that loads a file from the like backend or whatever it is. So you could see that it's quite classic that there is a file parameter so you might be able to fetch whatever file there is. So the first thing that I try to do is I copy the same file like whichever file is like whichever URL is allowing that file parameter I pass the same to it. So I should get the source of that particular page. You can't view that file obviously it's a challenge however if it would have been a realistic uh, real web page where it would be vulnerable to this file parameter. So we could have got the this show images.php's code and from there we could have got access to other code as well. Other thing I do is I do this index.php because that's the index page like the main page so we can't even view that file. Never mind. Uh, let's see the images first. What, what's there? So images patriot.jpg so I just go like remove that and you could see that there's this directory listing. This is the second thing, and here is the logo PhD file, all the logos, uh, Patriot, JPG, Burn. Then there's the admin directory. So, uh, admin directory is where we need to get access to, right? And this is the prompt that comes, uh, which has a username and password. So, if you have the correct username and password, you would be allowed to enter into the admin page. And um, 
this is a like this prompt is a common thing which is uh, like due to the ht password thing so there's a file called ht access i'm not sure how many of you would have heard about it but it's a file that if you add this file into the folder like whatever folder you want to protect you just add this file and with some configuration settings it's available for uh, a lot of web servers like apache nginx and all those ht access and password so ht password is basically when you want to password like password protect a directory like you don't want to make a login and all those things but just a simple password like a single like a password username and password which comes out of the box with the server included so password protecting your site with an ht access file so that's like it's a doc here this is the apache page here so uh, i know about this because i have like read about it long time back so what happens is in so here in the root of this folder like in the admin folder there would be a dot ht access file and then there would be a dot ht password file for like saving the password what we would do is we would just like read that file here it tells you right dot <laughs> ht password so you could see that there is this like image is not being rendered let's check the source so you could see if I think I should first show what is the HT access here. So, so HT access file. So you could see that three four images were there. And so this was the HT access file. Uh, like this was the contents of the file. So auth name, administrator access. Then auth type basic. So basic uh, is uh, like uh, it, the, there's a header called basic, and in there it goes authorization, and then the base six four encoded. value goes into it, the request and that's how the server on the back end decrypts that and verifies so basically whatever username and password you enter here that would go as a base 6 point coded string in a header so that's what it is saying here auth type basic auth user file so this is the hp uh, hp password file if it would have been in a different location uh, you could have like add you, you would have passed a different password location there require valid user so these are some of the configuration settings you could read about them online but like whenever you see this kind of uh, dialog box there is definitely a dot ht access file and there is a dot ht password file ht password may be in a different directory but ht access must be in that particular directory or a uh, parent app so uh, we got this ht access so this these are the contents for the ht access file ignore the html tags just read this here auth name administrator access auth type basic and all this what you could see here require valid user so if you just google it you would see like simple doc kind of thing related to it and you might understand okay how this is so this is basically the contents of the ht access file so auth name restricted flow here we saw the auth name was sign in auth name was administrator access if i ignore this like i press the escape button that i don't know the password so it shows 401 unauthorized these are some of the values that you have to type in the ht access file so auth type basic we saw there the name was administrator access you could ignore this auth user file was a dot ht password file require valid user so any valid user would be fine So now this is the ht uh, access now let's check for this is the ht password file so yeah and let me show you how i got this so just remove this password now control u to get the source of the file so here you could see that this was the administrator and this is the hash of the password not the actual password it's the hash of the password so the username is in plain text which is fine and then there is this hash so we what we would do is we would last time we use hashcat to decrypt this this time we we using john the ripper both work the same way so, so just like i'm pasting it here so username is administrator now let me show you on the terminal so this is john the ripper uh, you could download it from here john sorry john the ripper And you could download it, and you have to configure and make for Windows. It's very easy. You just get a .exe file and you run like dot 
beyond exe for uh, linux you have to download it and then go to the source directory so there is this so i have downloaded and extracted this file now if you see this is the directory structure of this so i go to this cs source src and then i run configure and and make so it would automatically create a john binary in my run folder so here is the run folder so you see john is there so let me run so, so for this for running john the repo you need to have a password file on which it would run the like it would try to crack it so let me make one quickly uh, when password whatever name you could give you just need to paste the hash here and if i remember correctly you could also like add multiple hashes one hash per line so just append the hashes of password so this is how you do this no password hash is left there was only loaded one password hash so if you want to check what was the hash like what was the value of that so password so one password hash was cracked and this is the password of it so shadow is the actual password that is valid so if i go here and paste shadow it should allow me to sign in congrats that was pretty simple and straight forward so this is the file parameter yep that's all hope this was a formative session thanks a lot